I'm currently in Chile. It's the 21st of October 2019 and we had some riots over the weekend. In, I'm in the city of Valdivia, but on the weekend I was in Villa Rica and we came back from Villa Rica on Sunday and on Saturday we spent the whole day in a nice nature park. Uh, yeah, the Chileans managed to get the country to a stop or not not maybe stop but shake up the country in just two days and we didn't hear anything on on Friday I mean there, we knew that there was something with uh, subways there was some demonstration but there's demonstration very often especially with the students I like to protest very often about all kinds of st stuff about about veganism and uh, protest about feminism and uh, equal rights and what is too high prices for universities and for all the small stuff but, but now it seems to have accumulated the yeah we didn't really get anything from it and when we got up at Sunday we heard that there were like curfews going on in, in Santiago and then we saw also that in the Valdivia, the city where we live in, they were rioting a bit, burnt something, some tires in the street, they, they like to do that and uh, smashed windows from the casino. Yeah, I was on the witch. Hmm? Well, and then we drove back and when we came here we see uh, saw basically there are ashes on the street from, from the piles that they burned that people that were agitated and fed up and um, yeah we saw some more pictures from stores that were smashed in they definitely um, ransacked the municipal municipality building which yeah is probably like a a more reasonable um, aim of of their anger because the government is uh, most of the responsible for for the problems sadly they also destroyed the windows of the McDonald's which I find very sad and one of the few restaurants where you get good food here um, with with good consistency and which is also uh, very popular so I'm, I'm rarely in there with the store being empty so sad about that then yeah of course in on facebook and on the on the feeds instagram t uh, twitter you have a lot of uh, news and all kinds of messages where people writing stuff or talking about it how much do you want to how much do you want to uh, trust that it's like okay he talks about what I'm thinking too so I trust him or he talks about something different that I don't like so I don't trust him and then you, you have luckily also a lot of people with cameras that film stuff so you can actually make a picture for yourself of things that happen and there definitely are some very weird things going on like police rendering or maybe even uh, vandalizing place I saw in one video they were toppling over a lamppost or something but yeah I mean a car ran over a guy but the guy also ran in front of the car in the protest and so are both pretty stupid well it's and even if you get a video then you don't really know is this like for now protest or from later and of course, uh, then you see, for example, I shared a video um, that was one of the squares for having a nice breakfast in a hotel with on a balcony overlooking the square. And while he's having a breakfast on the TV, they were, <laughs> were saying, showing that on the square there's actually riots going on and police cars with their water cannons. And he was looking at the square and just a a little farmer's market people just following their business nothing going on super calm and relaxed yeah 
<laughs> definitely like you can't trust the news at all those television or so have a look for yourself watch live streams um, i mean live streams are very hard to fake right especially if you can interact with the people there um other than that trusted sources know how to see if someone has an agenda and yeah other than that uh, especially for me as an expatriate here in chile i have to stay out of out of those places anyway um this is something that the chileans are doing it's their, their business it's their country um i cannot really support them much with that with uh, with demonstrating and so they they know what to do with it and it's a responsibility and also i heard that if uh expatriates or something are, are caught by the police and they're directly thrown out of the country which i mean it's reasonable right we don't want to have uh non-citizens just toppling the government or making political decisions or something like that it's just yeah unreasonable influence and you have uh, an incentive for other countries to send a citizen in and then have them change your country huh? you don't really want that the country is for the people of the specific country and yeah i'm just happy that i can enjoy it mostly here with the with the silent most Yep, um, that was yesterday. They uh, did some riots, but also many, many, many people were protesting peacefully without destroying anything. So kudos to them. That's, I definitely support that. And uh, today then they had a curfew from 10 to 7, 10 in the evening to 7 in the morning. And now, yeah, we got up here in the house um, the stores are open until until two or something, two at noon, and then they want to close down just, just in case. Yeah, they don't want to have all the stuff burnt or stolen, especially with the big supermarkets. So they should definitely be safe and take it safe, lock everything up. And I'm happy that, that they take care of the store and still stuff because yeah I, I i like to have the safety to actually go buy my food because i'm not a farmer i don't provide myself here i'm um, a victim of luxury <laughs> so yeah i'm dependent on that um other than that yeah today it look a little bit calmer outside we have to now monday we have to see how it how it's going on during the week Probably a little bit, a little bit less. I would figure because people actually have to work and earn some money, and also people depending on on them are dependent on them. And hopefully the government also is getting getting back and trying to negotiate and find solutions to this. Um, yeah, was it was it okay to send in the military or something? Yeah, I don't know. The police might be just overwhelmed. I haven't seen military in Valdivia so that might be just um, the big cities Santiago and um, not Puerto Montt uh, Valparaiso which are like bigger cities and yeah, when the police gets overwhelmed and people are starting to burn lots of shit and uh, start looting and everything and the police gets overwhelmed then yeah, like what I supposed to do is uh, have they they say they are responsible for protecting so they also have to come out and do something but yeah i mean actio and reactio you can't uh, burn down buildings and and loot something and not expect a counter reaction and who came first military or police or the writing and the fires who knows but even if the military came for us and they were just justified with their presence when shit really hit the fan yeah i hope that um keeps down a little bit with that definitely good that the chileans are looking into improving their country and protesting and um trying to change things not just uh buckle down and 
and take things for, for, for the time being. It will be interesting to see how it turns out and what kind of changes actually come out from there. But yeah, it seems to be not so easy for them to start businesses. So they were complaining a lot about privatization and um, businesses being in the hand of uh, centralized, uh, about like the rich people. Who, yeah, it's like I'm like the classical red arguments, but it's very strange. Mm. Complain about centralization of water and. But I also don't see uh, many people starting businesses that see the problem and then want to start a water business or they want to build a business for electricity. Or what I would like to see in Chile would be someone that some financial technology banks that uh, use technology that's already used in the United States and in, in Europe to start banks that are very customer friendly that you can that you can use completely with your smartphone online and that way you don't need branches but um i asked someone and he, yeah I, I talked with a few people and it seems like it's uh, not allowed to start a bank so the banks now have a monopoly so i could imagine that it's hard to start such a big business even thought it's very very easy compared to other countries to start a business here and also with Startup Chile it's very successful also to get some funding and there are thousands of applicants every year but if you want to have to start a business just, just say you want to start an electricity company and just supply electricity to the few locali uh, localities to the few villages around you then you need a credit and you need money from somewhere and it seems like only the rich families they have some money but they are oh, they don't really have much competition so they get away with a lot of shit and they are the only ones that can buy those big companies and it's hard for them to yeah <laughs> like if you just look at it and someone is grumpy about water technology but how is he supposed to start a new water company if he doesn't get money or if it's hard for him to get this if the knowledge is is not there if he has to work all day if the taxes are just increasing more regulations so i hope they i hope they simplify everything in this direction and also pinera yeah i don't know he seems to also be a lot out of touch um less fair mostly which is not always back that's if there is i rather have people do nothing in the government but it seems um that this is not the reflection of the whole government and that there are still people doing a lot of bullshit um shifting money into each other's pockets and the president maybe is giving a blind eye or something it is very sketchy and will be interesting to see how that turns out so again good that people actually start thinking about things stopping watching news hopefully and try to improve their lives and until then i hope they don't destroy too much because it has to always have to pay someone for it and even the insurances will run out of money so and even if the insurance is paid and okay it takes so many time to build a new supermarket and stock it up and until then people are going hungry and they're just scrampy and yeah let's see i, don't know. I will get some updates if there's something interesting new and until then have a good time